How's it going everybody, Jesse Patella here with Redefine Effects and today I just have a quick tutorial for you on how to do these mesh trails with Tyflow. This is a new feature that was just added. This was actually surprisingly difficult to make um, before this update. So a very nice new feature. And first you need to give it some kind of a spline to work with. So create line, you can just click, hold shift to make it a straight line and click again. Rotate it 90, enable auto key, go maybe 50 frames forward, move it out here and then go to frame, let's say 100, move it slightly to the left and forward again. Then you can select both of these keyframes, curve editor, make it a smooth keyframe so it moves nicely in a curve, modifiers, tie spline measure modifier and set the measure mode to trails. And here you go, here's your trail. So you get just a few settings. First is the duration, pretty self-explanatory how long the trail stays alive. So I'll set it to 100 because we are making the Tron light trail. So we just want it to stay there. You can increase the amount of steps um, to give the mesh more geometry and more detail, especially if you have a curved surface like this. Next, you have these velocity settings. So I animated another spline that moves very slow and then very fast and then very slow again. So the velocity cutoff means that the spline has to be moving at least this fast in order to generate a trail. So if I set this to five centimeters, I'm not generating any spline where it's moving very slow. And then when it's moving fast again, it reaches the threshold and it's generating a spline. Then it doesn't generate one again when it's slow and then again when it's fast. So this is useful when you have somebody swinging a sword you only generate the trail if the sword is moving at a certain speed. And the velocity threshold means that the spline will have to move faster to generate longer trails. So as I increase this, I'm shortening the trail. And as I decrease the velocity threshold, I'm lengthening the trail. So to give this some thickness, you can just add a shell modifier, maybe give it, I don't know, 1.5 centimeter thickness. And to give it that Tron material, you can just go under your material editor. Let's make a new V-Ray material. Click on the diffuse map slot and make a gradient ramp. Apply it to the trail. And we need to rotate the mapping. So set the W to 90. And now you can adjust these colors a little bit so we can make it sort of a dark blue in the middle and then like a light blue on the edges. Let's make it almost black in the middle and you can make another point here, also make it dark. Right, and just move these points around to give it those nice sort of glowing edges. So I'm just gonna switch to my original scene. So this is the exact gradient that I used to get this result. So you can just pause the video and look at what I have here. So basically you want it to be a glass material with some glowing edges on top of it. So you need to blend two materials together. So what you can do is first you need to make a glass material. So just make a new V-Ray material, set the diffuse to black, the reflection to pure white and the refraction to pure white and just call it glass. And then you need to make your glowing materials. So I'll just make a V-Ray light material and then you wanna copy the gradient ramp that you created with all the colors. So just copy and paste instance into the V-Ray light material. And then finally into another empty slot, you wanna make a V-Ray blend material, discard old map. And so the base material will be the glass instance and the coat material will be the V-Ray light material. So just instance that on top. And I set the intensity of the V-Ray light material to six. And so now you should end up with something like this, where you have a glass material with some glowing edges and you can click on this gray square. And this is how you control how much they blend together. So you can either get just the glass or just the light material and somewhere in between you're getting the blend. So you can play with that. And to easily make the orange version or any other color, you can just copy the blue trail material, click on the diffuse slot, click on the gradient ramp and then select color correction. And here you want to say keep old map as sub map. Say okay. 
And now you can just easily drag the hue to change the color of this gradient very easily without painstakingly changing all the colors manually. So I'm just going to move it into more orange hues. So now I can just apply my V-Ray blend material to the light trail. And if you want an infinite reflective floor, you can just go under create V-Ray, V-Ray plane, select that and click. And you can give it just like a pure black material with 100% reflection. Apply it to the V-Ray plane. Now you can just enable the V-Ray frame buffer and here you go. Here are your Tron trails. An important step is to enable the lens effect. So if you don't see this menu on the side, just double click on the edge. Lens effects, make sure you enable it. And then you can play with the intensity. So I set it all the way to 10. Also, you can play with the size. Go under aperture shape and turn off the blades. So you just get nice even glow. And as you lower the thresholds to maybe 0.3, you're going to get way more glow. You can also do the same with the bloom to increase or decrease that. So if you want to get some nice reflections in the glass, what you can do is open the Cosmos library and just go under HDRI's Studio. And I just imported, I think, this Studio 008 um, just to get the nice reflection in the trail. And I don't have the Tron bike right now, but what you would do is just import your bike model and then grab the spline and just click on this select and link and link the spline to the bike and then just animate the bike and you will have your Tron trail created behind the light cycle. So super quick and easy to do this. Hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. This is my second channel where I post some bonus tutorials. I will be posting more. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.